Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Dayton Mamba F411 25 Amperes All-in-One MK2 flight controller and the Toka 1505 motors. In this quick video I'm going to go over the features and specs of this interesting flight controller that features an external USB connector and bench test the 2650kV and 3800kV versions of the 1505 motor and next week I plan to feature both motors and flight controller in a video in which I'm going to build and fly the Carnage, a 3.5 inch frame by Philip, aka Sub250G, a very nice fellow who specializes in designing, building and flying light but powerful builds. Let's start with the new all-in-one flight controller. In terms of packaging, inside its box along with the flight controller you can find a quick start guide that contains the wiring diagram, an XT30 battery connector, two 6 cm long 18 gauge battery leads, a 25 volts 330 microfarad capacitor, a micro USB board which you can use instead of the USB Type-C connector, and silicon grommets in different sizes. In terms of features and specs, this 25.5 by 25.5 mm all-in-one F4 flight controller features an integrated 25 amperes BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, two full UART ports, it can support up to 4S batteries, it features a built-in current sensor, its outer dimensions are 31.8 by 31.8 by 3.5 mm, including the USB Type-C connector which comes pre-soldered to the board, the flight controller weighs 8.2 grams, and removing it is going to save about 1.3 grams, so without it, it weighs 6.9 grams. In addition, the weight of the micro USB connector on its own is 0.5 grams, and in case you are going to shorten the wires of the USB Type-C connector like I just did, the weight of the flight controller is going to be 7.8 grams. While it might seem obsolete, on lighter builds every gram counts, and that's why I show you all these options, and as for the flight controller itself, its main highlight is of course is the attachable USB connector, which is in my opinion a great feature, because first of all, if you break a USB connector on a normal flight controller, it's going to be nearly impossible to fix it, and on this one it's going to be a fairly easy task, unless one of the pads is ripped off, and on top of that it will enable you to use this flight controller in tight builds, and make sure that the USB connector is not going to be blocked by the frame. Moving on to the Mamba Toka 1505 motors. These beautiful motors are available in two KV options, 2650 KV which are compatible with up to 6S batteries and 3800 KV which are compatible with up to 4S batteries. As for its specs, the weight of the Toka 1505 motor, including the full length of the 15 cm long 24 gauge silicon coated wires, is 13 grams. It is using a 12 by 12 mm motor mounting pattern. It features a plastic sheet between the motor mount and the stator, which helps to prevent short circuits when using screws that are a little bit too long. The diameter of the stator is 15 mm and its height is 5 mm. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets and the diameter of the motor shaft is 1.5 mm. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the Toka 1505 motors using 2.5, 3 and 3.5 inch propellers and according to my test it's a pretty powerful motor for its size, just keep in mind that as I smoked both 4S and 6S versions when bench testing the motors using a 3.5 inch propeller I think that in order to be on the safe side, in case you are going to use 3.5 inch propellers with these motors, you should limit the motor's output to about 90%. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to feature the Toka 1505 3800 kV motors, the new Mamba all-in-one flight controller, and the Carnage 3.5 inch frame in a build and flight video, so stay tuned. And as for the Carnage frame, I would like to thank Philip for sending me this custom-made frame which is also available to the public on CNC Drone's website, which is linked down below. On that note, I would like to mention that Philip sent me a couple of months ago the Alpha 4-inch long-range oriented frame, which I didn't have time to build and fly, so here you can see what it looks like. 
And as this frame is still not available on CNC Drone's website, in case you are interested in this frame, please let me know or let Philip know down below and he'll do his best to make it available. I'm going to wrap up this quick video with the thrust test results of the Toka 1505 motors. And by the way, in two tests of the 6S motor, I had a small issue as I forgot to tear the load cells, but the correct adjusted results can be found in the thrust test results PDA file, which you can find in the description box of this video. I wish you all happy flying, and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.